Hi, so I'm back today because I wanted to do my February favorites. I haven't done a favorites video in freaking forever. Like, I've always thought to do one, and I just never got around to it. So I'm working on my procrastination skills. They're not a skill. Working on anti-skill. Anyways, I'm going to be doing my February favorites, and I have a bunch. Um, a bunch of them are grouped together, so you'll kind of see, but anyways, just wanted to tell you what I've been loving this last month, and some of these are from January as well, so it's pretty much just the beginning of 2016 favorites. So let's get into it. I went last month to Las Vegas for a few days. And inside the hotel that we were staying at had this big mall attached to it and they had a Lush. So I got a bunch of stuff. It's amazing. A bunch of it I really liked. Some of it I was like mm, a little bit disappointed by it, but I did find a cool, a bunch of cool stuff. So the first thing I will show you is this. It is the Mask of Magnamenti Self-Preserving. It's a facial mask and it, oh my God, it smells amazing. So good, I have to smell. Mmm, mmm. It smells so good you could literally eat it. But it is, it says face and body mask. Don't mask those spots. Mask of Magnamenti them. Woo! So I really enjoyed this one. It doesn't necessarily harden, but it tingles your face. It smells good. You look crazy wearing it, but I've been loving this. Uh, the next thing from Lush I got is called, actually my sister got me this, uh, it's called Rose Argon. It is a body conditioner. I've actually used, like, ooh, oh, I love the smell of this. Mmm, just does it for me. So, I've used about this much so far in about three weeks, maybe. So, I don't use it every time I shower, but just when I'm feeling kind of dry, it is a skin conditioner. Uh, you wash your body, then you put it on in the shower and you rinse it off and it it feels strange at first. Like it feels like kind of gunky and you're like, ooh. But then as like you, you dry off and you get out, your skin feels amazing. It's kind of like a lotion in the shower without having a lotion out of the shower and it smells amazing, if that makes sense, but whatever. Okay, the next thing, this has probably been, these two have probably been my favorite of the favorites, I would say. Um, it is the Greenwich deodorant powder from Lush. And the, I'm going to see how to say it, it's like Amor, Armoraco, I believe. Deodorant bar, sorry. It smells really nice and fresh. Uh, so it is this bar. You get, let me see if I can zoom in on that. It is a little bar. You can get as much or as little as you liked. Uh, I got a tiny, 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 tiny piece because I wanted to see if I would like it or not. And it ended up a little bit bigger than this was $3.22. So it wasn't too bad. It comes in big blocks you can get and you can get it however much you like. So the girl at the store said that she used these and she really loved them. And I am forever on a treasure hunt of trying to find natural deodorant that doesn't use aluminum and all those harsh chemical type deals. Um, this is an, it's a deodorant, not an antiperspirant, I believe. So you still sweat, but you just don't smell. Like, yeah, that's just how it is. So I put this on first and it, it's like a, it's got a kind of rough, texture a little bit not too much it's smooth but then there's like these little bumpies inside of it and it kind of smells like tea tree ish and it's kind of creamy I don't know how to explain it but I love it so I put that on first and then I put this a little bit just open it put it in my hand and pout it <laughs> over it and I literally ha it's been like life-changing not to be dramatic but it's been life-changing I obviously still sweat I just haven't freaking smelled not that I'm smelly usually, but a lot of the natural deodorants that I've tried, and I've tried a ton of them, you end up like smelling after a while. I'm like, dude, no. Not okay with that. So I'm freaking happy with these. Very, very, very highly recommended. 
So that was my little Lush haul. I did get a bunch more stuff, but these were just my favorites out of everything that I got. Um, the next thing is kind of the same body-ish thing. It's a contour palette from Tarte. It's called the Tarteist, I believe. The Tarteist. The Tarteist. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, so it's a contouring palette. I got this in New York. It looks like this. You get a highlighter, a corrector, two contours, like one really dark, one lighter, and then a blush, and this is another like highlighter. It's very pretty. Comes with a cute little mirror. Awkward. Comes with a cute little mirror, and I've been really loving this because instead of having to bring a bunch of stuff when I've been traveling, I just throw this in there, and it's got like everything I wanted. Next is a kind of food issue. It is Project 7 Grapefruit Melon Gourmet Gum. When I saw this, I saw it at Target and I was like, that's weird. What the hell is gourmet gum? Like, really? And I obviously had to buy it because I want to know what the hell gourmet gum was. And it is pretty good. It's grapefruit melon. You only get like, oh, you get 12 pieces in it. it comes in like a little pouchy thing. But it says that, um... Your purchases have provided over 1.1 million months of clean water. So I guess they help to donate, get clean water. I didn't realize that because it doesn't say it on the front. I just thought it looked interesting. So I tried it and I actually really, really like it. It does kind of lose flavor after a while, but I'm just doing it to get something sweet without being too naughty. And it's been working. So I really love that. The next thing is these. Ooh, let me try one. These are the Sony, I don't even know what the hell them they are. I truthfully don't even know. They're Sony Bluetooth headphones. I will put the name right around here once I figure it out. Got them for Christmas. I lost my favorite, 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 favorite Bose headphones last year. I believe it was last year. And I literally can't find them anywhere. I thought I left them in a cabin, but we went and looked in the cabin and nothing. So I have no idea where they are. But Brandon picked these up for me for Christmas. So that was really sweet. Thank you. And I've been loving them. I The bows were not Bluetooth, my other ones. And these ones are. And I've actually really, really, really been liking it. Because I can put my phone like in my craft room somewhere. Put on my music and just kind of wander about. And not have to worry about carrying it around and stuff. So, these were definitely a favorite so far. Alright, I have my little bag. So, the next favorite is this. It's freaking random. It is a little tiny macaroon. Plastic macaroon. I went to Tahoe and I found it in a little cool craft shop that was kind of like Etsy-ish. I don't know. It was awesome. And I decided to keep it in my purse because I always have these little things in my purse. And I put my little Buddha charm, which I really, really love. And it was in my wallet before, but I kind of like this. So I put it in there. And then I just have like little crystals throughout my purse in my house and everywhere, whatever. But in my purse, I put the ones that I had just floating around in here. So it's kind of like a little mini shrine. It's so cute. I'm going to add another crystal in here because I have a ruby that I think is gorgeous. And I like to have stuff on me. So like if I'm out doing whatever, I can still look at them and like enjoy them whatever this one's an opal it's like really you can't see it i know you can't see it but gotta get some of the top layer off and it's gonna be very shiny so it's very pretty so that is definitely a cute little favorite on the go this one is i feel like i've gotten tons of random stuff this month so this is my sister had one of these i saw her post about it i think on instagram or something and i was like oh I thought those pens were way too expensive when I saw them at the bookstore, but now that you added that, I made it. So it is a little Lego pen. I wonder if you can see it. It's just a pen. Oh, I pulled out the wrong side. Pen. And then it has Lego, a little Lego strip attached to it. So you can put some cute little Legos on it and draw with it. It's probably for kids, but my sister found a pug Lego. And so of course I had to buy one because I love pugs. So. I have the pug Lego and my nephew gave me a crystal. It's like a cute little crystal Lego that he had and he's like, I want you to have it. Ooh, adorable. So now I have my little pug and my crystal on here and I keep it in my purse. Love it. It's adorable. Super fun. I took one of his little Lego strips to change the color. 
So that's been a favorite. All right, I have two left. So I will do my art favorite of the month. It is the Faber-Castell Gelatos. This one I think is, they come in like little groups. This one's called Steampunk, I think, something like that. It has iced coffee, cinnamon, and black cherry. And you also get like a little smudgy stick with it. But these things are freaking cool. I saw them, I like to Google and YouTube everything, so I saw them on YouTube. They look kind of like little chapsticks or lipsticks. They're like the same consistency. And they are water soluble. So you can, what I've been doing is in my journal, I will like smear a bunch in different areas. And then I get this little guy. This is the Tim, oh, this isn't, yeah, no, this isn't the Timolt. This is the Ranger Mini Mister. I was like, what is that called? And you fill this bottom with water. I showed it in my other video. You fill it with water and you spritz it. So then I spritz the gelatos and they kind of smear together and you can do tons of cool stuff with them. I've really been loving them. They're compact and they're super dense in color, like super dense. So if you have any interest in that, I would check them out. They have tons of different colors. I just got one little set of them and I've been loving them. And so my last favorite is of course an oil, duh. Um, I love oils, they're awesome. Some of them smell amazing, some of them stink, but they're still good for you. They do all different types of stuff. And my favorite of the year has been Valor. I think it's Valor. Maybe some people call it Valor, but I don't think that'd be kind of weird. I believe it's Valor. Dude, this stuff is amazing. Oh, the smell of it. Oh, it, oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So this one has black spruce oil, rosewood oil, blue tansy flower oil, and frankincense oil. You don't even need to dilute this one, you can, but I don't. I just pop this little roller top that I got on it, and I put it on my wrist and behind my neck, and it's, it's just amazing. Um, it's really good for when you need a little courage, strength, sounds cheesy, but I love this stuff. It smells great. So if you have any questions or anything like that, let me know. Those were all my favorites for the year so far. Oh, I still love this candle. But I already showed you guys this, I think. I'm really sad. It's my Jax Kelly crystal candle. And there's a rose quartz in there somewhere. But the um, little wick has gone out. So now I have to like figure out how to melt this and get the crystal out. But it is the... Oh, I'm loving this one. It's still a favorite. I'm like gonna miss this person. It's, you're not a person, you're a candle. But it is, yep, yeah, the Rose Quartz Love Stone Jax Kelly Crystal Candle. I love it. Mm, and I'm sad to see it go. But anyways, that was random. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. So that was all of it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your guys' favorites are. And if you would like to see more favorite videos. Because I will try to do them if people say they enjoy them. So I'll try to make time for them. So I hope you have a great March, January, March, yes, March, <laughs> and I'll see you later. Bye.